This heat has been brutal, guys. This heat is brutal. My tomato, my tomato bed is all burnt up. I haven't had time to water it like I could, but God has been helping me out with all the rain. But however, there still wasn't enough to protect the potato bed. And as you can see, this peach tree is hanging on. But uh, it's, it's dry. It's dried in a lot of spots. It needs water. However, I am very, very grateful because even though my peaches are small, I'm just grateful to have some this year. They're smaller than what they normally produce. And I guess I would assume that it is probably because it's so much. Like, you see how so much of them are on the tree? And to my sister that told me about the CD, Mo oh, baby, you see I got the CD right here. <laughs> I got the CD and I got a little hanger. I put all kind of stuff in the tree. And then that one over there got, let me show you the peaches over here. I got my owls down there. I got one owl up on another um, pole. But uh, these peaches are a little bigger. Now this is my, how can I, what do I call it? This is my, what do I say? My crippled tree or, I don't know, this is my miracle tree. Because this is one that was broken. But so that's why it looks deformed if you see how one side of it is growing all up there and then one side is down and and then in the middle it's all like spread out or whatever that's because this is my miracle tree um it broke guys were here cutting down some trees a few years ago and they accidentally broke it but um you see it still got some peaches a lot of the peaches fell off because they were so much on there and then also I had squirrels they kept jumping back and forth as well from, from branch to branch knocking a lot off but however um, there are a lot of peaches on both of these trees uh oh I gotta straighten this thing up but thank you guys for praying and giving me advice and all the stuff I came up with move baby and the combination of it is what I think kept the squirrels and the deers away because the squirrels and the deers is what were coming after my peaches. And so I believe by next month sometime they should start to be ripening. And I'll have my first peach. By sometime next week I should be able to try my first piece. Yep. How my potato bed has done burn up. But what I did was I came over here and added some water. And I was pulling up all these little grass weeds that was growing. And then, boom, right at the top here, I saw one of my potatoes. I'm like, wow, this is good to go there. Um, move, guys. So, I'm going to see what else I got down in there. Hold on a second. Let me get the thing and rest this off. And then I'll see what else. This one right here is too small. And it was growing. Yeah, these are little small stuff. I'm just leaving them right down in there. I don't know what else might be. I don't want to pull it up if it's nothing else is fully grown. Yeah, these are tiny. Oh, here go another one. Look at that. Oh, shucks. I'm sitting here letting my potatoes sit in the ground. And they good to go I ain't nothing but small ones over here I feel small stuff yeah and that's a rock right there so shucks I can cook me some fish and potatoes tomorrow how much more I got down in here oh uh, that one's small but ain't nothing connected to it so might as well take it on out I'm popping roots digging down in here oh I got another big one I feel like on the side right here oh look at God look at that y'all 
I'm sitting here talking about potato bed done burn up. They done finished. They done ready to harvest. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, look at God. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what else over here in this corner. Oh, they ain't that big, but hey, you get a lot of them. They'll do all right. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Oh, this one kind of small, too. Well, that's enough for me for tomorrow. Oh, look at another one. Oh, look at that. Look at God. These potatoes been ready to harvest. Oh, look at God, guys. I don't want to dig up too much. Let the rest of them stay down there because I ain't going to eat that much. They can stay preserved down there. Oh, look at another one poking out. Look at that. I was not expecting this. Now, this ain't nothing but a blessing. Oh, that one's small. That one's small. Them small. Let them stay down there. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, well, cover that one. I'll take this one. Sorry, this one. Well, <laughs> I was not expecting this, guys. Well, now I know I got some potatoes in the ground. So they were ready to harvest. I'm going to go and get me a pan and wash my little dirty hands and nails off. And um, I have me some fish and potatoes for tomorrow. That, uh, that's all right right there. Number two, three, you know, four real tiny ones, five real tiny ones. And I got one, two, three, four. This is a nice size. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice size. And who knows how many more dying on in there. So, uh... That's a blessing. This is a blessing. This is God. So I'll have me some potatoes and fish tomorrow. Anyway, I just thought that was funny. I was thinking the, the thing all burn up. But, hey, you never know until you look underneath the surface. Don't judge your book by its cover. That's why I done learned again. Don't judge the book by its cover, baby. <laughs> Open it and read the page. Dig in that dirty see what you got. <laughs> Let me stop cutting up. Y'all have a blessed evening.